cellular and tissue heterogeneity is a very, very significant problem. In many cases, what's happening in the tumor compartment is different and may give you less information than what's happening in the stroma compartment around the, around the tumor. And on top of the heterogeneity between this tumor and the stroma and the immune cells and the blood vessels and all the different types of cells, there is heterogeneity within the tumor itself. So some parts of the tumor may have one genetic or proteomic uh, change and, and different clones within the tumor may have different uh, um, genetic aberrations. And so the heterogeneity is not just at the cellular histologic level, it's even within the tumor itself. And so that's why we have to use laser capture microdissection every day, all day long. All of our fellows and students are constantly using that technology. I guess two other ways of uh, solving the heterogeneity problem, uh, maybe three. The first one is to try to cut out areas of the tumor with a knife or a needle or, or some kind of a cutting tool and look at it on a, as you're looking at it on a slide. That is a crude way to do it, and since the cells are often interdigitated with the host, the tumor cells are interdigitated with the host, it's really difficult to see the area that you need to cut out. And it's oftentimes um, very crude and very imprecise. So if you're looking at an individual specimen, it, it may cause a high degree of uh, variability and uncertainty to try to do it mechanically. A second way is to dissociate all the cells, just enzymatically disrupt them into single cells. We, you, you digest a tissue with an enzyme that breaks down all the intracellular adhesion and strips off all the receptors on the cells. They're now single cells, but you lose a lot of the information. And we look at the proteomic signaling in the cells, and after you treat them with the enzyme, they're dramatically altered by that methodology. And most importantly, the weakness in enzymatic disruption is that only a very small subset of the enzymatically treated cells actually survive and come out whole, and you don't know where those cells came from. So it's, it's much better to have a piece of tissue and you're looking at it under the microscope and you can see the orientation of the cells to each other and then you can grab the ones you want and pull them out of the tissue. Uh, the other methods for doing microdissection um, include use of a UV cutting laser uh, as a distinction from the infrared capture method that Arcturus and, and now Thermo has. The UV cutting laser um, damages the cells, and we and others have found that uh, uh, cells that are right on the cut edge of the UV laser um, are altered significantly. And depending on what your molecule you're measuring, that could be as close to two or three or four cells away from the cut edge. So that makes it really difficult to get small numbers of cells without damaging the cells in the, in the periphery of that cutting. Uh, so the Arcturus system allows you to use the infrared for small numbers of cells or use the infrared capture method for holding on to the center area of a larger piece of tissue that's cut, cut out with the UV laser. And so the XT is really the best instrument that uh, com compares to the competitors because you can do both UV cutting and infrared capture and you hold on to your sample with the cap and you retain the orientation of all the cells. Uh, so that's another advantage compared to systems where you maybe cut something and then drop it into a tube or catapult it. You, you lose the orientation of that catapulted cutout uh, piece. The Arcturus combination of a capture and a UV cutting is really the best way to do it uh, that I can, I can see so far. And so trying to be objective about it, it still is the best.